a very small flock about say the whole family of the so-called 1N400X diodes. It's a complete family. Uh, they go from uh, 1N4001 to 1N4007. And I'm sorting them out now. Uh, I salvaged, like you can see, many, many of these diodes and also other diodes in the past. And I'm sorting them out now. And well, I reject in a certain way certain diodes that I've salvaged in the past. But on the other hand, I'm, say, taking out also, say, the more specific diodes. And in Europe, they have a certain color, at least in the 1970s, 1980s, early 1990s. There was a kind of color code. Uh, when it was a red diode, it is a high voltage diode and also green. But of course, uh, the whole technology uh, about diodes has changed, say, the past 10 years. And well, uh, now you must, of course, uh, search a data sheet of a diode when you want to use it. But anyway, um, this is the whole family. As far as I know, these 1N4007 diodes can handle the biggest voltage. They are all, as far as I know, this family uh, uh, diodes that can withstand approximately one ampere at their maximum. Well, so here you see the different diodes. This is the highest voltage. You must surely um, search the data sheet first anyway. And so we go back to, as far as I know, the diode types that can handle less voltage. And the 4001 is the first of that row. Of course, also uh, test that via the World Wide Web. Look at the data sheet. Thanks for watching. Very small video. Sorting out this, all these. And here a bunch of diodes that have the, that have the same type number. In general, I don't do these, um, say, searches because I can always find a silicon diode that fits my needs and that I mean for my YouTube videos. Anyway, thanks for watching.